I forgive. I forgive, brother and sister. Amen. There'll come a time, though. Amen. There'll come a time, amen, the mercy door's going to be closed. I know when Brother Mike will preach this many years and help people, the Lord's coming back. They scoffers today just like they was back in the days of Noah. Amen. God spoke to Noah, warned Noah what was going to take place. He was just going to destroy mankind whom he created. Amen. Told Noah to prepare an ark. And Noah worked with fear and trim, amen, yeah. to build that ark. Yes. And I thought about, brother, how no doubt how the people laughed at it, amen, they swore and made mock of it. But let me tell you one thing, amen, the day that Noah built the ark, brother, amen, if he worked with fear, amen, when he got it done, amen, he was, he was inside and God was in there, amen. God was in that ark, and he said, Noah, come in here. Yeah. Amen. When Noah went in and took up every creature, God closed the door, and Noah couldn't open it. Amen. Brothers and sisters, there'll be a door uh, closed on many people, no doubt, today. Amen. Why? Because, preacher, many have been called, but few are chosen. Amen. Amen. God closed the door. Amen. And Noah couldn't open it. Amen. <laughs> Seven days, brother, went by, and they hadn't seen no rain. Amen. Bless no sign was made, amen. The mercy door was closed, amen. But after a while, Bless amen, the, here came the rain. Yeah. Here came the rain, the storm run back, in no doubt, and people began to run to the, to the ark there, right. amen. Want to get in, and it couldn't get in. Why? Because Bless God closed the door, and Noah couldn't open it, amen. Brothers and sisters, I'm here to tell you, uh, Jesus is the door. He is the door. Lord. And he said, any man will enter in through by me, he shall be saved. Yeah. Amen. He is the door. And I thought about, he said, he that climbeth up some other way, the same as a thief and robber. Amen. If we make it to God's heaven, I'll be a join our brother. Amen. Or them mansions he did build. Amen, brother. If we don't go through the door, we'll be, we'll be a shout. Amen. And the mercy door is going to be closed. Amen. I'm here to tell you. Amen. All you people here tonight, you're not here by accident. Come on, God bless your heart. It's not accident that you're here. Amen. There was something other drawed you here. Amen. What was it, preacher? It was the Spirit of God. Amen. I'm here to tell you, God is a merciful God. Amen. But he said, my spirit will not always strive with man. I'm here to tell you the Lord's coming back. I don't know that they don't know the error, but he's coming back. Yeah. He's coming back ready or not. Yeah. Amen. I thought about it. If there ever was a time, amen, brother. If there ever was a time to look out on the field, look at them out there. The harvest is ripe, but the labor is few. Yeah. If there ever was a time, amen, to get about the Father's business, it's a day that we're living in. Yeah. Amen. If there ever was a time, amen, that would be all ready to Lord, it's the day that we're living in, Father God. Amen. I thought about He's coming back, ready or not. Amen. Amen. The writer said, Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to Him. For the marriage of the Lamb has come, and His wife has made herself ready. And it was ready that she should be a worker. Fine linen, clean and white. For the fine linen is the rightness of the sun. Come on, God bless your heart. Amen. If your heart's right, you'll have some good works. Amen. I thought about, brother. Amen. We'll have some good works. I thought about, amen. When the Lord showed me, brother Mike, he took a stony heart out of me and put in me a heart of flesh. Amen. I thought about, I'm glad of that. Amen. Never will forget the time, Brother Cecil, amen, I called upon the Lord. Amen. I called upon him on Sunday morning. Amen. I believe that it was Sunday for Mike. If I just ask, amen. He said, ask and you shall receive. I seek for him and you'll find him. Amen. One Sunday morning, amen, I went up in the mountains and called upon him. Amen. Satan said, hey, when you get saved, the tree tops are going to shake. Well, Lord. Amen. The three trips I made up in the holler. Amen. Trying to find a place to pray. Finally, when I came to the place, I just got down and said, Lord, if you'll forgive me and save me, I'll live for you. Amen. Well, Lord, I looked up the 
just a treetop in front of it. They were just as calm as they could be. Amen. I went back down out of the holler. Amen. And Satan said, hey, nobody knows nothing about you. Nobody seen you come up here. Amen. You just be quiet and everything will be all right. Amen. Lord, did he ever lie to me? Amen. I thought, well, then. Satan, you're right. Nobody knows where I was at. Not even my wife, Brother Rick. Amen. She's in the house and the kitchen and cooking. Amen. I thought about Brother Susan. I went back down out of the harbor. Amen, brother. And Satan said, hey, you'll be all right. Just keep quiet. Amen. My cousin Bob came up there, him and Pat. Amen, brother. He came in the house. And his wife had dinner on the table. Amen. She said, ever come. I said, don't want nothing. <coughs> I don't know if your husband's ever gotten that kind of trouble or not. Amen. But after a woman worked real hard in the kitchen to cook a set of meal on the table, you say, I don't want nothing. It ain't going to be sweet. Amen. I tell you, you hit a hair, you hit a sour note. Amen. You mean to tell me you ain't going to eat? I said, no, I don't want nothing. Amen. Well, I said, Pat, you and Bob, come on in here to eat. Amen. My cousin Bob had it, hadn't eaten nothing in the Lord knows how long. Amen. I didn't know why. I thought there was something other bad wrong with him. I worked with him every day, Brother Vince. Amen. We were just like blood brothers. Amen. Brother Mikey went for days in and days out and didn't eat about. I thought, Lord, Lord what's wrong with Cousin Bob? Amen. If you don't eat here, you're going to die. Well, Lord. But it wasn't me. Amen. But it came up there that, that morning. Amen. The wife said, Pat, come on in here and eat. Amen. And they went in there and sat down. But Brother Bob didn't eat, Brother Cecil. Right. Amen. He and I was sitting on the couch there. He said, Elmer, well, Amen. I came up here this morning. He said, I had a dream about you. Amen. You'd never guess what it was. I said, There ain't no telling. Amen. Church, God works mysterious ways. I was always a hard headed fellow. Amen. <coughs> Had to be decided, brother Mike. Amen. Hard headed, stubborn. Amen. He said, I had a dream about you. Amen. Oh, would you like to hear it? I said, Yeah, go ahead. He said, I dreamed I came up here to your house. Amen. I looked out there and you come down out of the hall across the road. Amen. He said, I asked you what you did. Said, You've been up there praying. Well, brother, six ladies sitting up, jumped up in my neck. I jumped up off that couch with him. I said, what did you say? Amen. He said, I asked you where you'd been. Said, you'd been up there praying. Well, Lord. Uh, I said, well, it could be five minutes sooner. That's where you'd see me coming from. Yeah. Amen. Well, 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 he said, uh, Satan's come too late to tell me that I missed it. Yeah. Hey Amen. Thank yes, God. Uh, it's been 30, almost 37 years ago. Yeah. I'm still holding on. Yeah. 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 I said the hold on. Yeah. Amen. The Lord's coming back. Yeah. And when He comes back, Brother Mac, yeah. He'll have my reward with Him. Yeah. Amen. I said, it's time to think about Him and Cousin Bob. Amen. He wouldn't eat a bite. He told Pat that I ain't going to eat till I ever get saved. Amen. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know how many meals he eats. That he missed. Amen. But after I told him, Amen, what, what I did, he put off his field you ever seen. And you know, I did too. Why because, Amen, I've been set free. Amen. Been set free. The devil had on me. I've been broke. Yeah. I've been set free. Yeah. Amen. I'm here to tell you, Jesus is still setting people free. Yes, he Amen. Is. This word of God, yeah. Amen, will set you free. Yeah. Amen. If you make you free, yeah. we'll be free indeed. Yes. Many times I've wondered where I would have been. What would have happened to me? God hadn't moved up on Cousin Bob. The Lord told him that night in a dream what I was going to be doing the next day. God done made up my mind, Brother Cecil. When I went back to the house, don't say nothing to nobody. Nobody knows nothing about you. 
Brother Bob knows all about me. He knew all about me. Amen. And the best part of it was, God knew about me that night. God works mysterious ways. He said, my ways are not your ways. Neither are my thoughts your thoughts. So I'm telling you here tonight, we're not all here by accident. We're not here by accident. Right. They've been joy came in my life. There we go. I've seen the time. Daniel, I've seen the time. I go home. Then you did it. Both of us were saved. I get, we go to bed, sleep in the house, go to It won't, won't let us know what time it was we come in. I, we come in, brother. I go to bed. I lay down and fight, sleep like a baby. You know what I'm talking about, you women do. Amen. You know what it is for a baby to fight sleep? That's the way I would do it. Why? Because I knew if I died in the shape that I was in, I'd be like that rich man in hell. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. But now, I can go to bed and say, now I lay me down to sleep. Yeah. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. Yeah. If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. Yes. What about your soul? What about you? Would you be ready to meet the Lord? Would you be ready to meet the Lord? Amen. He might say, Preacher, I got a few more years. You might, he may not. Amen. Take no thought today what to do tomorrow. For tomorrow may not never come. Paul said today is the day of salvation. Amen. Amen. It may be, I feel like maybe there might be somebody here that's left the Father's house. You left because you chose to. And I'll tell you what, if you'll come back, he's faithful just to take you back. He came seeking to save that which was lost. He's still saved. He's still saved. Yes, he is. Amen. So, we're going to give an altar call here tonight. Might be somebody here would like to pray. Somebody straight away from the Lord. And uh, we will come back and come to the altar. And we'll pray, for, we'll pray with you. Amen. If you'll, if you'll just call upon the Lord. Amen. Amen. And confess our sins. He said he's faithful and just to forgive. Amen. He's a merciful God. He's a merciful God. Amen. He's coming back. Yes, Coming back. Yes,